Welcome back Nerdlings. Today we're looking at what I've completed of my Chaos Army, or my Realms of Chaos Army. Now this has been an absolute joy to, to do over the last month or so. Really it's been quite a, quite an effort. I've been sitting down and, and sort of religiously painting between sort of two and four models every day. And really it hasn't really been a chore at all so there's there's been times when I thought oh, I really I, I can't I can't really face doing any models this morning, but I've just sat down and got on with it, and just working through it actually helps with sort of the motivation the next day, and I, I found that just sort of sticking it out and actually just getting on with it has actually really helped with my sort of uh, just getting getting through it all, you know, and the the output or the outcome has been absolutely freaking awesome. I, I've really really enjoyed what I've managed to achieve and I mean well the results sort of speak for themselves don't they I mean I've got a beautiful looking chaos army that's almost complete uh, well this uh, this part of it's almost complete I mean there's probably uh, at least another three times this to go but for the for the purposes of this month-long saga I suppose it, it's it's getting it's, it's getting there it's pretty much getting there now this has been probably one of the more fun projects that I've done and it's simply because the style of the models I mean the the old style models that you come across you know in sort of old model shops and stuff like that not not this new sort of plasticky stuff or the fine cast or any of any of that it's the old sort of style models that really sort of evoke that feeling of high fantasy and sort of you know dark catacombs and and all that all that old sort of school stuff that I really enjoyed when I, I was growing up I've tried to evoke that sort of feeling with this army and really I hope I've sort of managed to achieve that so just to give you a rundown of, of what all of this stuff is in case you haven't been following or or, or or you don't know so in the top left we've got a dragon ogre he's a, a an old school warhammer model uh, just a, at the top in the sort of the middle, we've got a mixture of, of models. So we've got a old Citadel uh, Man at Arms with a Halberd. We've got a, a few Midland models, uh, a Goblin Captain and an Orc Spearman. And then we've got an Evil Lord. And he's not the Chaos Lord, I'll, I'll give you that, but he's he's an Evil Lord. So he's, you know, responsible for probably, you know, captives and all this other stuff. Here we've got a baggage train, which is I, I absolutely really wanted to include in the army, simply because they're so characterful and so fun. And I love the little guy on top, I think he's really comical. We've got a naughty little thief over here, hiding away, and just sort of... I imagine he would probably try and steal stuff from the baggage train if he got half a chance, but with the goblin captain and his and his uh, little bodies around, I think he's probably trying. He's probably finding it a bit hard to 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 do. We've got a beastmaster and his two-headed hound here, both awesome models. I really enjoyed painting those, and I, I always wanted to get this beastmaster model simply because I think he's really cool. We've got some. Ralpatha uh, Europe Chaos Imperium, I think. Chaos Knights. So these guys have, you know, they're beautiful models. If, you, if you've if you got an opportunity to get some from Ralpatha Europe, then absolutely do so. They're really nice. They come with some interesting sort of old school shields, but I swapped those out for some Pantheon of Chaos ones and some old plastics. So that that's sort of, a, you know, gives them a bit, a bit of a different vibe, I think. We've got a t uh, two uh, Minotaurs here and here from Midlam Miniatures. Uh, again, beautiful Minotaurs. They're probably my favourite Minotaurs in in all of um, all of wargaming. I, I would suggest. And then uh, we've got a a main unit of Chaos Warriors, which are pre-slaughter. So they're they're the old models which have integral bases. They they don't go on slaughter bases. They've got integral bases, and I've. Uh, mounted them down hollow lip bases and then finally we've got the battle standard who's a old minotaur lord with a uh, great taurus bull's head and some nice sort of uh, modifications and stuff i did some of my own sculpting on the model and hopefully i'll be able to get the banner done sometime soon 
to sort of add to this. I actually had quite a few more minor tools. I had four more minor tools to do. Unfortunately, I haven't managed to get them done yet. And I've got quite a few more Chaos Warriors as well. I've got about 25 or, no, probably about 30 more Chaos Warriors to, to do. Uh, I'm not too sure how I'm going to flesh out the rest of that unit, but I'd probably, I'm, I might get some Knights Templar miniatures and sort of uh, base them up and, and, and put them in with them just to sort of flesh out the units. And then I'll, I'll probably have a, in total about 60 Chaos Warriors. I've got, again, 60 Beastmen that I haven't even started painting yet, but I wanted to just sort of showcase what I've got so far complete. Uh, I've got some other things, uh, sort of other little projects on the go as well. Uh, I've got some more hounds for the Beastmaster to corral, and I've got um, a, a few wizards and, and things like that. I've, I've also got an old chariot that I'd like to build up. So there's plenty of good stuff uh, in the pipeline for the future. But for, for now, this is probably where I'm going to leave this Chaos Army. And uh, I'll try and do sort of uh, either a, a Get It Painted challenge or, or some sort of other thing to get me motivated to actually continue and finish this army off because it's been an absolute joy and really it's it's been a lot of fun so yeah um just tell me what you think be sure to like comment and subscribe and uh, thanks very much for watching peace